Right, today I'd just like to show you some uh, new upgrades and changes I've made to the MyFed ML7. And I made this one some time ago for doing indexing and division work on the lathe with the MyFed um, indexing backplate here, which has 24 holes. And this one um, just takes a pin, and it's this one here, so that one goes through the assembly like that and locks that in position on each hole. Um, I leave this one on the lathe permanently now unless I have to use this one and I've drilled a hole right the way through this one here so that I can actually put the pin um, for actual storage when it's not in use. So it's already um, at hand and can be used any time and that saves having to actually look for it in a drawer or whatever. So this is what it looks like from this angle. I can quickly take the pin out and use it in the assembly like that. And I find this is an excellent method of actually doing dividing work on the lathe. And I've used it hundreds of uh, different times for different um, components and made some excellent things using it. Another upgrade I've done is this one here to my actual MyFed ML7 oiler manifold that I made some time ago. I found with ordinary oilers that you can adjust, um, I found that they're very temperamental and inconsistent. Um, like in hot weather you could actually lose oil, all your oil in um, maybe a few minutes and then you adjust it and then you don't get any flow at all. And I made these ones here, like I say, some time ago now, and these are drip feed, but they're wick oilers. And they're much more um, consistent in use and obviously just a drip down again is all that you need actually on this bearing. Now on the front here, I had the um, cap or cup oilers like this one here with the little hinged door. And I had that for some time, but I do actually machine a lot of brass and I find that um, you can still get actual brass chips in the um, oiler cup. Um, particularly like this one here, it's come off from the um, pin at the back and so it's not closing properly. So I've made up a new system here on the front using a piece of polycarbonate tubing. And in use on the lathe, if I'm doing just an hour's work or so, I'll just use this one here. If I'm doing a whole evening's work, I would actually um, unscrew this one and let that one flow as well. But I find that most jobs that I actually do on the MyFed ML7 um, is probably only an hour or so long. And therefore, I just use this one here. And this is an ordinary straight through hole uh, in a polycarbonate um, like cylinder here with a button oiler on the top here and I can actually square oil into that one and have that much oil which is roughly about 10 cc's of oil maybe a bit more than that maybe 20 cc's of oil and that's just enough to keep it going um, perfectly and stopping the bearing drying out in use if you're just using it for a short period of time so to fill that one I just put my oil can on the top and give it a squirt of oil and fill that one up and it has a breather hole in the side here which I can adjust with this o-ring so I can actually close the um, hole off to lower the um, flow or to stop the flow altogether and in an upcoming video I'll show you how I actually make this one and I've only made the front one so far. It's got a 1 8 BSP um, thread on the end there with a 1 8 doughty seal. Um, I've got to make the back one up, so I'll save that one for the video I make to show how it is actually made. Another thing I've done is added this small USB stainless steel fan. And these are excellent because they use very little um, energy. And I use this one um, just alongside the VFD here, pointing down onto the chuck on the ML7. And that's to blow um, smoke or oil fumes away from me when I'm actually machining. And these are great little units because they're so lightweight, you can actually just add them to your machine anywhere really. 
and I found it just very easy just to put a long self-tapping screw in here on the control panel and just hang it up like that and that one actually points directly to the front of the chuck. And lastly I've um, remade my um, handle assembly here at the back of the ML7 and I've included a um, mountain bike um, brake disc so now I can actually use the handle on this to actually wind for doing um, threads or whatever just as normal forwards or backwards and then I'm going to fix up a brake caliper at some point so that I can have a foot pedal to operate the emergency stop. So I hope to rig up the emergency stop to actually press the actual off switch or the emergency stop button on the um, motor first or just at the same time that the brake is applied so I can have an instant stop on this um, spindle. And this one is still rigged up the same way with the expanding mandrel. I've just changed the back end here. Instead of um, aluminium, I've got brass here. That's the magnet there for operating my tachometer. And this is a weight on this side to actually offset that one. And then the disc is just bolted on in two places with um, large washers there. And that's enough to hold it. And the handle just clips on as normal. So I'm looking forward to finishing this project and seeing how it performs.